Flying out of the setting sun less than 12 hours after leaving Australia, we jet into fabulous Hong Kong on a movie tone magic carpet visit that coincides with Chinese New Year celebrations. Touch down at dusk on the colony's Kai Tak Airport, which stretches out into the harbour because there was no room on the shore to build it. Kung Yi Fat Choi, a happy new year and may you make lots of money, is the typically Chinese slogan of the festivities. It's difficult for the European to act season's message, soon capture the festive spirit. For the drive from the city is the border gate that divides Hong Kong from Red China. Today it presents a peaceful appearance that belies its history. Tourists gather daily to look across into the paddy fields of the country that controls the fate of the small British colony. In China, it's been the gateway to freedom for nearly three million of Hong Kong's population. This was the scene in the late 1940s as thousands each day struggled across the border to safety. The resulting population explosion turned the colony into a city of shanties and slums. But today most of these have gone and in the new territories, an area on lease from China until 1997, the government has built a maze of flats to house the refugees. Surely the phrase high density housing originated right here. In five-story units that by Western standards would accommodate about 200 people, 2,500 Chinese are living. Playing areas for the apparently healthy children are provided, but with six babies born for every adult who dies, the housing solved. To improve the lot of public servants, giant home units are mushrooming throughout the city. This one, show multi-story developments on the hills around the island make for luxury living, but the colony's well-to-do are far in the minority. For tourists, accommodation and service are without equal. It is fantastic. Modern skyscraper office blocks and hotels line the foreshores. Soon, the colony's foothold on the Chinese mainland is linked to Hong Kong by a speedy five-minute ferry service. Another example of the East's teeming population is found at the small fishing village of Aberdeen on the island's west coast. The fishing fleet assembles once a year for New Year observances. 50,000 boats and a quarter of a million people. Literally a gigantic floating population. In the Midwest shopping center, a duty-free port offering everything from washing machines to watches. And at New Year, they say, we give you very special bargain. Hong Kong has been called a borrowed place living on borrowed time. But in this festive season, not as terrifying as usual. Family reunions, but Chinese, it's a time of party giving and another New Year's Eve in February. Nights are fairyland of lights that tell of the incredible variety of merchandise that make it the world's contrasts with the problems of poverty and population. Tomorrow is forgotten. Today, it's Happy New Year. Kung Yi Fat Choi. And may you make lots of money. Since the mid-1800s, Britain has controlled the colony, except for the period of Japanese occupation during World War II. Since then, Hong Kong's growth could only be described of this giant armada. Two of the world's biggest floating restaurants, where you select your meal live from a tank, and within minutes, it's on your plate, Chinese style. Traffic is another Hong Kong headache, but like every city, new expressways are speeding the flow. We decided our camera could also assist. its most notable custom should definitely be introduced here. It's a time for settling all debts. 
A drive through the city's back streets soon shows that despite overcrowded and apparent slum conditions, few go hungry. A hippie, Hong Kong style. In the rice market, one of the big sellers is Australian-grown kangaroo brand. Carpet city decorations and the constant repetition of the... For the souvenir hunter, a place for a bargain in hat. Dragon dancers are a New Year must, even if this one's tail is... About an hour, tourists who come here realize the significance of this primitive barrier. Since the beginning of the communist revolution, as families of many of the island's police force. Pol